Welcome back, everyone. I'm with Denis Laviolette, the CEO of Gold Spot Discoveries, a Montreal-based company. Yes. Yes. I have a bit of a bias, obviously, <laughs> but welcome back to the show, Denis. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, we're talking artificial intelligence and mining. Kind of sounds scary. A little bit. No, it's, it's not it's scary. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's, uh, you know, for the first time in history, we can really push uh, this data to a new level, you know, and, and, and get so much out of it. Well, you were on last year's the last time we spoke and the first time we met because gold spot that's what you guys do you you yeah. you are pushing boundaries in mining you're using ai to help find future gold deposits so one year later what what has changed for you guys wow uh, it's been an, an exceptional year for gold spot we've uh, we've nearly doubled in size last year so this is a it was a big year um, we had a tremendous, tremendous year. Uh, Valet now working with them. Uh, Merck, which is a $104 million government funded program, uh, understanding all of the metalliferous environments uh, here in Canada to another level. Like we've never done this type of study before. And to have Goldspot kind of playing this role of bringing all this data together and analyzing it and figuring out what underpins these super rich environments versus others. Well, well and, and you know, with with environmental issues becoming you know more of a concern for people, yeah. doesn't AI help avoid that? That you're not just drilling all yeah, over the place. Like it of helps. Course. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. For sure. There there definitely be some sort of soft benefits to the environmental side at very least to to reduce the number of drill holes maybe needed to find a deposit and avoid those misses and things like that. Drilling, I, I wouldn't, you know, go ahead and say that drilling is very environmentally, you know, friendly. Uh, not unfriendly right. or in, in some in some respects. But, um, you know, from our perspective, it's all about risk like this. It's so expensive. It's so risky to drill d deposits yeah. and expiration dollars are t drying up and they're tightening up and everyone's so conscious about that. So AI can really help that. It can really be help companies be more so you're responsible working with some big names yeah uh, you yeah, mentioned absolutely. rally and but when you're pitching right um, you know why wouldn't this be a no-brainer for other companies what are the biggest challenges are people saying no you know I'm not really ready to use AI yet for my company um, I think the biggest pushback is really a lot of people are very self-conscious in some ways about their data sets and stuff they're really kind of like guarded about letting uh, someone else in to see and to be honest with you, it doesn't matter if it's a big company, a small company, everyone's data is sort of a mess. Like, that's okay. It's okay to be a mess. And a lot of people have that sort of oh, self-conscious. So it's kind of like, like you don't want anyone to see your messy closet. Exactly. They're okay. like, oh, okay. you clean up closets and, <laughs> right. you know, and yes. all this, but we don't really want to show you our right, mess. Right. And so that's kind of a thing. And then, of course, um, upper yeah. management tends to get it really well. Like, so the executive management yeah. side really, like, gets it. The technical side really gets it. So something sort of you know, oftentimes gets lost in between there, where let's say we're pitching to the upper echelons, they don't really want to jam it on their geologists to, for us to come in and like step on any toes, but that's not what we do. We work with these guys. It's, it's not, you know, machine learning, take your, all your data, click a button, give you back some targets and take all the credit for it. It's really uh, about working together and it's machine assisted, it's just having arming those geologists with data layers and, and ideas and things that they didn't have before. Right, right, right. So when you work with a company, like how long is the process? Oh, I mean, it depends, um, obviously, on the size, the scale, and how much data they have and what we're, what we're about. And, uh, but oftentimes, it can take, you know, three to six months and yeah. sometimes more, sometimes up to eight months so, to so really get through. Has the rally we've been seeing in gold uh, helped business, helping business? Yeah, no, it, it has a lot because I think um, companies, in some respects, the rally helped business a lot um, in the sense that people wanted to go out and raise more money. They wanted to, you know, and there's more opportunities for us to invest and create partnerships. But a lot of companies want to differentiate themselves. They want something that stands out from the rest of the pack, um, a story that they can tell, and they see that AI can help do that and uh, maybe deliver their message to their targets a little more clearly, armor them, arm them with stronger visuals and support and stuff like that. So they see that opportunity to capture that narrative inside yeah. of their own and have something that stands out from, from every other company to maybe catch those dollars that are, that are flying into this space. So, so what's next for you guys? You know, we're just going to keep going. We've got uh, a lot of great contracts lined up for this year. So we've got actually more contracts in hand for 2020 now than we had for all of last year. So our revenue is going to be up big time uh, this year. Uh, so it's looking really, really good. 
Um, our investment portfolio is doing exceptionally well. I think we've almost doubled our investments uh, across the board. So we've done re really well with that and with our juniors. And uh, you know, this year, because of that time frame, that incubation period between doing all of this work and getting that target, um, this year is going to be like the year of targets. You know, we're going to see a lot of our hard work pay off and um, the market's going to see how big of an impact AI can actually have in these expiration Do you think stores. there's a lot of misconceptions surrounding AI? Because for me, that's new to AI, you know, you tell me AI and mining and I picture like drones and robots entering the mine and Will Smith maybe showing up for a cameo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you Terminator. Know, <laughs> you know, how, like, how off am I there? <laughs> What's the real deal? You know, it's AI in the purest term right. AI is really like a computer that thinks for itself. It'd be like, you know, sentient type so of So you've thing. built this computer? No, for us, we're not like that. It's like the industry of AI is more more like machine learning. It's kind of a cousin in a way of that. It's, it's, it's supervised, unsupervised in some respects. But um, the overall field of data, data science, everyone sort of coins as AI. Um, but in reality, we're not building a computer that you know, is a sentient entity. It's, it's really a, 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 a list of tools, a toolbox, if you will, of data analytics that we can. So, so what's your background? Through. Is it engineering or? Geology. Geology. Yeah, geology, yeah. I was uh, worked in industry for a very long time and then I shifted to capital markets. Wow, so then how did you bridge it with the technology or you just hired the people that know to do that? Yeah, you know, it's crazy. I, uh, I started off um, uh, working for a lot of larger companies. I, when I got into the capital market side, uh, with Pine Tree Capital, I was looking at all of these different deals, and every day it was like Dragon's Den, you know, all these companies would come in and show you and yeah. tell you all their stories. And I do a lot of site visits and all this, but one thing I knew from when I was on the industry side as well as on the capital market side um, was that we were paying all this money and collecting all this information, uh, but we weren't using it. And even myself, uh, working for like larger geo like mining companies, you know, we would collect all this data and I'd have all these pet projects and these dreams of what I'd like to do if I had the time. Like maybe I'll stay extra hours and play around with this concept or whatever. And you just don't never find the time for it. So I realized that there's like, we do a really good job at data collection, but we don't really carve out enough time to analyze it. You know, so it was and that's like, when the idea yeah, and that's came when to I, I came across this group um, in the Institute of National Research in Quebec City, INRS. And um, there was like six PhDs there basically, working on uh, data science, machine learning, AI, and its applications to geological data. And I went, wow, this yeah. is big. Cool. Like really big. Very, very yeah. cool. So, well, so, uh, Denis LaViolette, continued success. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Best yeah. of luck. Come back uh, and give us an update. Thank you very AI much. AI and mining, gold spot. Thank you for watching. We'll have much more for you on kickco.com. Nice.